Top 10 scariest ghost videos of the month by Noob's Top 5. What's good? How your day going? Morning, evening, night, whenever you're watching this video. I'm not about to do a long intro. I'm not about to talk your ears off. You know me. The only thing I, I ever want when I jump into these freaking horror videos, scary videos, I just want a I want at least one. Give me two. I definitely take three. I love it. But one that's hella scary to the point where I'm like, yo, I'm just jumping out of my skin, talking hella crazy ish. That's all I want. But yo, other than that, if you want to check out the original video, link will be in the description below. But let's go. Oh, we get some scary stuff too, dog. Tunnel Vision. This next video was sent in to popular Japanese ghost hunting team Clip Store by a man who claims that the footage was recorded by his now deceased older brother. The man says that his brother was a big fan of the paranormal and often spent his free time exploring well known ghost spots in Japan. So one day his brother decides to film an allegedly haunted tunnel somewhere in Fukuoka Prefecture, Japan. He has an encounter that is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> My bad, it's like Newt made that shit up. <laughs> Hold up. An allegedly haunted ghost spots in Japan. So one day his brother decides to film an allegedly haunted tunnel somewhere in Fukuoka Prefecture, Japan. He has an encounter that is absolutely terrifying. Boy, stop. What? Did you see it? Hell yeah. After the man hears a creepy unexplained voice coming from right behind him, he quickly spins around to see an ominous dark figure standing right in front of him. A shadowy shape that had not been there only seconds before. Absolutely terrified, the man makes a run for it. But the story gets even weirder. Because a few weeks later, the man who recorded this video passed away in a freak accident. This horrifying video was found what? on the Damn. man's phone. It was the last video that he recorded before his death. So the Clip Store team tracks down the location, but they don't really find anything unusual during their investigation. So could it be that the man accidentally recorded real paranormal phenomena? And could this have somehow led to him losing his life in such a tragic way? Let me know. Meanwhile, on Paramount Mountain. Yeah, real quick. Okay. The Viaduct Tavern. Paranormal investigators Jeff, Phil, and Mark from the YouTube channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations recently investigated the notoriously haunted Viaduct Tavern in London. The Viaduct has been around for hundreds of years and was built just a few yards away from the site of the infamous Old Newgate Prison, where thousands of criminals were executed. The tavern's third floor was once a brothel where a lady of the night named Kate tragically lost her life. With such a long and dark history, it's no wonder that over the years, landlords, workers, and even visitors have witnessed terrifying paranormal oh, activity. I've heard about this place. Nevertheless, the tavern has become a very popular local historical pub. The Ghost Tech team sets up several static cameras and begin their investigation on the third floor, where most of the supernatural activity has been witnessed. It doesn't take long before the three investigators start to hear very strange sounds coming from the floor right above their heads. Hello? I can hear you. I can hear you walking. There was a few footsteps on the floor above us.
As I stand on the stairs to the full floor, I hear footsteps above me on the floorboards. Here is the audio taken from Static Cam 5, which is located up on the full floor. The creepy sound of someone walking can be heard on the fourth floor of the Viaduct Tavern. The Ghost Tech team believes that they might be making contact with the spirit of Kate, the lady of the night that tragically Wait, passed away there long ago. Jeff, Phil, and Mark head up to the fourth floor to do a spirit box session, and what happens next is downright creepy. If I knew your full name, I could look in the newspapers the old newspapers and find out what happened to the person that did that terrible thing to you. That's all I need from you, is your surname. So if I hold this out... Guys? Yeah? Yeah. What have you caught? Something's in that room. It just went past the window and I've got it on film. Something went across that window. Kate? While asking questions, Jeff captures a dark figure quickly moving in front of a window, not once, but twice. Jeff immediately alerts the team of what he's captured, but they can't find any explanation for the bizarre encounter. And that isn't the only time the team captures something unexplainable that night. Back on the third floor, the three investigators begin to hear strange disembodied voices. And then this happens. There you go. That's what I was hearing Shh. downstairs. I hear voices in. Kate, okay, tell me your name, your full name. We can find out. Find out what happened to you and whether the person that did it was caught and punished. Jesus. Hey there, there was someone that stood by me. Boy, this one long, I tell you that much, boy. Okay. There's so much to right by me then. Oh, I don't know. That is the clearest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, calm down. Mark nearly jumps out of his skin as he sees someone standing right next to him. But when they look, there's no one there. However, when the ghost team reviews their recorded footage later, they realize that Mark actually did capture what he saw on camera. Now it can only be seen for a split second when slowing down the footage, but as Mark spins around, the unexplained face of someone I thought that was Mark. can be seen standing right next to him. So could this be the ghost of Kate, the lady of the night who tragically lost her life inside the tavern? Or could it be the spirits of prisoners who were executed where the tavern now stands? You decide. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. Encanto. Ghost Hunter Idol from the YouTube channel Ghost23 sets out to explore a remote waterfall in the middle of nowhere and surrounded by tall mountains. Idol has been told that the waterfall is haunted by an environmental spirit known as an Encanto, a mythical being that has the ability to appear in human form. Idol is completely oh, alone. Oh, is that what that uh, movie, movie about? My daughter be watching some movie, I think, called Encanto, if I'm saying it right, whatever. Uh, I wonder if it... Oh, shit, I went back too far. Haunted by an environmental spirit known as an Encanto, a mythical being that has the ability to appear in human form. Well, come on. Idol is see. completely alone as he makes the difficult climb up the waterfall with nothing but a camera. The sun is setting fast, and with very little daylight left, I swear. Idol captures something truly chilling what you finna do for this 40 with ball. nothing but a camera the sun is setting fast and with very little daylight left idol captures something truly chilling wow. Wow. 
Wow. Wow. Wow. Wow. Sino ka po? Sino ka? Sino ka? Sino ka? Mm -hmm. She gonna hit that corner. Sino ba kayo? Sino? Sino yung nagpapagita dito? No! Ah, sorry, sir. Okay. That's Nico. <laughs> That's who he look like. Shit, hold up. Hey, right, because I told myself, I was like, all right, I ain't screaming. I ain't throwing the headphones. I'm not throwing the cannabis neither because I hate looking for that ish, whatever, right? So I'm, I'm prepping myself for all the jump scares. That's all I'm doing, all right? <laughs> I thought that was dog. I'm like, bro, doggy bone don't want to be saved. Just let her go. Damn, they all right. If somebody really needed help and they had you right there, they'd, they'd have reached out for you. But no, nah, if you wanted to dip, then you dip. And shit, you should have said, yo, I need some help. I don't know. Get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> it's so cold in the deep. A mysterious figure appears to be watching Idol as he's exploring and recording footage of the waterfall. The person then just walks away, disappearing into thin air. Now, there is nowhere for this figure to have disappeared to, as there is a steep drop below and a tall, unclimbable cliff above. Idol is baffled and confused by what he just saw and can't find anywhere that the mysterious being could have went. It's almost as if it walked right into the waterfalls surrounding the mountain. So could this be the Encanto that is said to appear at the waterfall? Or something else? Tell me what you think. A cry for help. This next video is a bit of a mystery, as it was reposted to TikTok without a source or information. The video shows CCTV footage of a young girl as she walks around her home. What happens next is like something from a nightmare. Lights suddenly begin to flicker, startling the young girl as she rushes for the door. But the door won't open. As she slams on the doorway, crying out for help, an <laughs> ominous dark shape can be seen slowly moving towards her. One dark edge reaching out, almost like an arm ready to grab her. That's when someone, presumably her brother, comes to her rescue and opens the door for her to escape. Now, without a source, we'll probably never know what happened here. So, I ask you, is it real, or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Man, hell no. Oh, man, let's get to the next one. I do find it a little strange when people wear, like, their robes oh. in the lobby. Stop playing, boy. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, serious now, serious. All just an elaborate hoax. You decide. Off the rails. Stephen Kerner is out on a drive through the countryside of Minnesota when he spots something very odd. Uh, oh boy. What the? Uh... That ain't good. Don't but know get me out of there, boy. I mean, yeah. Okay. And it look like it's probably just somebody who like they're just transporting like a little house or something, like a little playhouse, probably something for some kids. They probably got land like that. And they just do shit like that to us that look that seem weird to us. I don't know. I'm just trying to put some sense behind the shit. But yeah, if I see that <laughs> Boy, I'm doing the dash out that bitch. <laughs> but what the fuck? That's either Jeepers Creepers or we don't what like the... your can around here, boy. Where my damn America had it? Well, that ain't good. <laughs> don't know who's running that, but. Jeepers Creepers, I mean, yeah. Okay. A small empty train car with hey, an empty caboodle slowly here, moves along the What's track, good, Nick? even though no. <laughs> Stop playing with me, doggy bone. <laughs> oh, that's got that Jeep Creek. <laughs> I ain't see shit. Now this is legit actually creepy to me. Not even being funny, dog. But something like this, seeing stuff like this is definitely weird because for us, this could be no normal to someone. They probably just legit doing whatever. I have no idea. But to a good amount of us probably freaking city folk, we like, yo, what the hell is this? What's going on? So of course, it's out of it's out of the norm for us. Like, yeah, this is irregular as shit. So seeing shit like that basically what i'm trying to say is seeing it's like that it's like yo this is weird af and it is scary af because it's unfamiliar as fuck and you and, and your surrounding as well like yo this is creepy as fuck but i like it though man seeing something like that i would love to see it in the daytime at night oh boy i, I would trip out but seeing this in the daytime oh it would trip me out in a way where it's like oh i'm scared but i can't explain it it was like i'm scared of shit but i like it because it's daytime though so i still feel safe whatever and, and ain't no shit happening so i just saw some shit like oh i can't explain it dog let's get back to the video man Creepers. Creepers. <laughs> that nigga damn that damn truck pull up behind. <laughs> Alright, my bad. I didn't mean to scream all in your ear like that, but that's really what would happen if you'd have been in my car. If we just saw dog. I mean, yeah. Okay. A small empty train car with an empty caboose slowly moves along the track, even though no one is driving it. Steven is a little confused by what he like just witnessed, house, but he just shrugs it off and drives away. Mind but after posting his bizarre encounter on TikTok, someone spots something that Steven didn't see. Run of that, but I mean, yeah, okay. Please tell me I'm not the only one who saw that. This thing, right here. Bullshit. That was not there what in the original. Bullshit. Steven Go back. Didn't see. Calm down. Run of that, but I mean, yeah, okay. Oh, nigga, no. Please tell me I'm not. What? <sighs> the only one who saw that. This thing, right here. What the f is that? Viewers are freaked out when they see an odd pale figure seemingly hanging out of the back of the train. Many believe the tiny locomotive to be a ghost train. And some believe that the train might be haunted by a spirit. Or and a person. others just think it's a very odd occurrence paired with pareidolia. Yeah. But what do you think this is? Let me know down in the comments. Now that was a rough creepy. ride. TikTok user Jose Castillo and his friends often mountain bike after work on some wooded trails near the city of Oaxaca, Mexico. One evening after dark, Jose and his friends go out on a trail that they've taken many times before. But this time, things take 
a terrifying turn. Jose's GoPro camera is recording when something happens that still gives him chills to this day. Ow! Thought it was a damn tree. Did you see it? Hell yeah, I saw it. Someone or something appears out of nowhere and Jose barely manages to swerve around it. <coughs> when slowed down and paused, the figure appears to be cloaked, wearing a veil that's translucent enough that you can see what looks like a face. A very disturbing face. Many viewers of Jose's TikTok believe that he captured the infamous weeping woman, La Llorona a vengeful spirit of Mexican lore that mourns the loss of her children. But what do you think this is? Let me know. That movie was so scary too, dog. Exploration gone wrong. Two friends decide to explore an abandoned industrial park at an undisclosed location in China. The site has been abandoned for over three years and most of the entrances have been locked shut to prevent intruders and squatters. But this doesn't stop the two explorers as they manage to find a way inside. Okay. Okay, okay. They start to explore the construction floor by floor. That's when they spot something absolutely unnerving. Mm. 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 Mm, I see it. Did you see it? Someone appears to be sitting on a chair inside one of the empty offices. The cameraman calls out to his friend and they quickly turn back and check out the room. What the but there's no one there. So did they accidentally capture a paranormal event? No. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Unwanted guest. In this next creepy video, two police officers are alerted by an Airbnb homeowner who suspects someone has broken into her house. Yeah, we got to add real quick. That's crazy. We've been watch we've been watching a lot of freaking Airbnb uh, horror stories lately. Broken into her house. How's it going? <laughs> oh, we saw this. Is the problem? I I left for a while to go shopping, and when I came home, the door is open. I think somebody broke in. The homeowner says the house should be empty, but is worried that an intruder might be inside. The two officers make their way into the house as their body cameras record the entire incident. Police, if anyone's here, make yourself known. One of the officers is checking out the downstairs bedroom, and this is when things start to get weird. Anyone inside? A loud bang can be heard and at the same time strange interference comes through the radio. The officer now heads upstairs and his body cam starts to experience strange video glitches. What happens next is downright chilling. <laughs> Police, anyone inside, make yourself known.
downstairs clerics. remember i was trying so hard to remember what the hell was the jump scare because i remember us watching this one and it did trip me out the first time watching this one so that's how i was like oh ish when he mentioned downright chilling because he had made sense when i first saw this one though i was tripping i was especially in the part where he was walking down and it sounded like you were somebody running behind him yo that part was trippy af whatever i couldn't remember where the jump scare was though Clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, yeah, we're done. Give me the fuck now, <laughs> understandably, this police officer is done with this house. Two doors open on their own without explanation, and when the officer is about to go downstairs, the loud sound of charging footsteps or stomping can be heard right behind him. He swings around, but again, no one there. <laughs> this footage was later released the as the officer dude. claimed to have experienced paranormal activity while inside the house. So just what do you think is going on here? Is this Airbnb haunted? Let me know down in the comments. An odd intruder. A woman in Jamaica steps outside to retrieve something from her car, but she doesn't know that an absolutely chilling event is about to occur. Hey, my robot. Hey, my robot. They both fucking go. <laughs> oh, my God. That is crazy, dog. I went to Jamaica once. Death was the time of my life. Oh, that's so much fun. Why did I have to be so young and stupid and not understand where I was at that time? Damn. As the woman exits her house and walks towards her car, we can see some but strange yeah, translucent crazy, shape man. charge out nice of the woods shot, near man. her house and run right inside the front mm. door. Now, whatever this is, does not seem to be any kind of compression glitch. Can't get rid of them so niggas, huh? The he <laughs> came back in the And also, light. the figure approaches the light and still remains an odd, indistinguishable Curry. mist. But is it supernatural? And if not, just what? Yeah, who that is nigga this? is? As always, I'm still that nigga. It up to you to decide. He Just said, what is, is this? As always, I leave it up to you to decide. Jerry, after three years of living a happy, peaceful life in their apartment in the United Arab Emirates, Zark, his wife, and son suddenly begin to experience terrifying, unexplained activity. Just check. Please stop. Besides hearing knocking, banging, and scratching, the family has a truly bizarre scare when one day they inexplicably find maggots all over their apartment. 
Zark explains that he's a skeptic, but that he's become increasingly more alarmed by his son's unusual behavior. The young boy claims he sees someone named, quote, Jerry, and that Jerry isn't always friendly. Zark and his wife don't believe the boy at first, but when one day he complains about Jerry again, they decide to check their CCTV camera and are shocked by what they find. Needless to say, Zark and his wife now believe that Jerry might be something real after all, and whatever this presence is, it seems to become increasingly more aggressive. Hold up, doggy ball. Aggressive. There we go. Yeah. Objects around the house are moved and thrown, but nothing compares to what happens on another night while the family is fast asleep in bed. Zark is suddenly woken up by the unexplained sound of running water. Zark hears the sound of running water and discovers that both the faucet in the kitchen and the bathroom have mysteriously turned on by themselves. Zark then hears loud banging and the sound of someone running. 
He then captures a strange small smoke-like figure moving right in front of him. Zark is freaked out by what he has just experienced, so he checks his CCTV footage to see if anything else was captured that night. When he rewinds his footage back to just before the running water woke him, he is shocked by what his CCTV captured. <laughs> I'm imagining the ghost riding the scooter right now. Good job, dog. I mean, that's that's a pretty good job. I mean, you're you're really connecting with the real world again. Like you're really touching. Like you're almost here. Good job, ghost. Like for real, you because we always look at this from the wrong side. I'm looking at it from the ghost side. Like yo, he trying to figure out how to get back. Like how how to communicate, dog. This ghost need help. Sad world, man. You're doing a good job, bro. Keep pushing, nigga. Cause what they don't know. Cause what they don't show. <laughs> no. Keep going, nigga. You're gonna think I'm being funny, but blame it on the cannabis. I know this can't happen, but I would love, you know, in my own utopian world, I, I would love to chill and smoke cannabis with a ghost. That'd be so fire, the ghost legit. Because imagine this, the ish they gonna be telling you, for real, not being funny. Imagine the ish they'll be telling me, right? It'd be so much shit they'll know about on the other, on the other side that I have no access to. Boom, dog, you hit the shit. Mm -mm. Get to tell me about the shit they got there. I, I don't know, dog. He can be like, oh, man, y'all going to trip out what's going to happen in the year 20, so-and-so. I'm like, nigga, what? Like, bro, I don't know. I'm just like, shit, dog. Let's get back to the video. I know it's not going to happen. I'm just, I said, that would be fire. You know what I'm saying? If Ghost was real, it would be fire. If we can communicate with them. I do believe they're real, real. But I don't think humans can see them or touch them. Tall ass ghost. A tall, translucent figure came <laughs> seen walking right beside us. I know I did see this video, but I don't remember that part particularly. But it was just funny because I, I don't remember him saying, Nigga. <laughs> like that most moonwalking too. <laughs> I was like, boy, stop playing with me. Let me go back though. Because now, why do we always assume that all ghosts are bad? Why, why do they always have to be bad? Why? There could be some good ghosts out there. Just probably mixed in with the wrong crowd. That's it. Grew up hanging around the wrong niggas. <laughs> stop playing so much. But no, I'm being for real though. If if these things exist like we we believe, why they, why they got to be bad? Tell me why ain't nothing I get cool with my ghost. A tall, translucent figure can be seen walking right beside a scooter that seems to move across the floor. Zark is now convinced that his apartment is haunted by something that he can't explain. Could this presence be what his son calls Jerry? Let me know what you think. You can follow Zark's continuing paranormal story over on the YouTube channel, Zark Scary Haunting. Thanks so much for watching. I'm still trying to get that upload schedule back on track. So that freaking um 
train story, dog, trip me. Uh, because I, ain't gonna, I was I was looking hard, so I, and I was like, I think I'm looking too hard. You know how sometimes you be trying to you try so hard to focus on some ish, whereas like you you're gonna miss the little things. So I think that's what was going on because I'm looking at everything. I kept I think the gas can kept on taking my attention because I I kept looking at it like what's gonna happen, what's around it. Let me see what's under it. Like some sitting under the seat, something gotta be driving this shit, whatever, right? Looking at the back, I just saw a little up a little playhouse, a little tree house. I'm like, okay, okay, maybe someone just transferred this mode. We already talked about it, blah, blah, blah. But when that mud went back and you do kind of see that, I'm like, all right, maybe it is my eyes just playing tricks on me, whatever. But I was like, yo, it did really look kind of like something. Because I thought also, I was like, okay, no, it's gonna only be on the part on his edited part. That's why I see it. But I, that's why I rewind it. Like, no, let me see if I go back. But when I go back to the original, it looked like, yeah, I was like, okay, I do still kind of see this. Yo, that one trip me the hell out now it, it could have been somebody back there playing like we mommy can i play behind the train while we transfer go ahead baby because they used to live like this i don't fucking know or it could have been somebody who really needed help i don't know though the shit was trippy maybe it was just a creature you know like an animal you know I'm about to go ahead and get up out of here and enjoy my day. Hey, you go ahead and do the same thing. Enjoy your day, morning, evening, night, whenever you're watching this video, dog. Uh, by the time you watch this video, the next movie reaction, uh, the fourth kind, will be up. What's the day? Probably like a few days after this come up, whatever. Yo, also those, the link will be in the description below if you did want to check out the movie reactions. Yo, go ahead and enjoy your day, morning, evening, night, whenever you watch this video. I'm out, dog.